In this video, we can learn about helix and spiral calculations. This is step-by-step -step tutorial. The difference between helix and spiral. The helix is generated on cylindrical surface, while the spiral is generated on tapered surface. The essential requirements for milling a helix. First, the table should be set at the correct angle. Second, the index head should be set to repeat the work in correct ratio to the table movement. Third, the work should be fit toward the cutter by the table movement. Illustration of fits of the helix. So, this is fits. This is one revolution of work. This is table travel for one revolution of work. Development of helix by laying out to determine the table angle. So this is the hypotenuse. This is table angle. This is circumference of work. This is the well of helix. This is pits, one revolutions, and this is helix. Illustrating correct position of the table for cutting a helix. Illustrating use of trigonometry to determine the table angle. In the triangle EOV, we let the side EV equal the circumference of the work and let the side OV equal the fits. Then tangent of the table angle equals EB circumference divided by OV, so that is fits. Example, determine the table angle required to cut a helix that has a pitch of 16 inches and a diameter of 4 and a half inches. The circumference of the work is equal to 5 times diameter, so that is 3.1416 times 4 and 1 half. Substituting the formula tangent table angle equals 3.1416 times 4 and a half divided by 16. We use calculator, so 3.1416 times 4.5 divided by 16, so that is 0 0.8835 convert to degree, inverse tangent, 0 0.8835, so that is 41 degree or approximately 41 degree in 30 minutes, right? For the lead of the machine, you can refer the videos titled Gear Helix Angle Calculation, Competition and Application of Helical Gear, Milling Machine Indexing Head Calculation, and Gearing Arrangement. Chains Gear Train, Diagram of Chains Gearing Illustrating the Use of the Idler, Composed of Four Gears. First, the gear on the table fits screw shaft. Second, the first stud gear. Third, the second stud gear. Fourth, the gear on the worm. So, change gear ratio equals pitch of helix divided by lead of the machine. Example, if the lead of the machine is 10 inches, what change gear ratio is required to cut a helix that has a pitch of 10 and 1 half inches? Substituting the formula, change gear ratio equals 10.5 divided by 10. So times 10, that is 10.5 times 10, 105. So 10 times 10, that is 100. Or divided by 5, so that is 21. Then 100 divided by 5, so that is 20 or 42 over 40, right? 
so 22 there place on the table pit scroll and 21 there place on the workshop right illustration for change gearing that required no idler example determine the necessary gears to be used in mailing a helix that requires a 12 inches pitch so the compound ratio of the driving to the driver gears is product of driving gears over the product of driver gears so equals pitch of required helix divided by 10 so pitch of required helix that is 12 divided by 10 so 12 over 10 so what number we can use to multiply to get 12 so 3 times 4 that is 12 14 so 2 times 5 then 3 2 in this case we can use 24 so 3 times 24 so that is 72 then 2 times 24 that is 48 right so the number of teeth of two chain squares that are available in the machine so for 4 5 then we can use 8 then 4 times 8 that is 32 then 5 times 8 that is 40 so the first selected pair of gears 72 and 32 the 72 tooth gear is placed on the worm and the 32 tooth gear is the second stud gear the second pair of gears for 48 and 40 the 48 tooth gear is placed on the table feed shop and the 40 tooth gear is the first tooth gear right 